All right, here we are in the tank. I apologize, my voice is a little bit rough right now. Um, hey, do you have, you know rockets are falling on Israel from Syria right now and from Lebanon. It's just continuing to heat up over there. The Gaza situation, it is rough. People are losing a lot of people. Uh, there's a lot of work, a lot of tunnels left to blow up, a lot of terrorist uh, Hamas infrastructure to remove, to neutralize, uh, and yeah, we got to get Sinwar. We got to get the. We got to switch, topple this regime. There's a lot of work ahead of us. Do you ever feel inadequate? Do you ever feel like, how am I going to win this war? How am I going to? What can I do? What's the next step? Where do I go from here? And and you know what? That's where you got to look to the God of Israel and say He loves this land. He loves you. He loves me. He's got a plan. And uh, but you don't don't look around the world. Looking around the world, it's bad. Ships are getting taken by Houthis. Uh, uh, people are losing money. Uh, 67% of 18 to 24 year olds in America believe that Jews should be treated as oppressors, that Israel should be treated as, a, as an oppressor. Here we are in the Israel Defense Force after what happened trying to restore security, trying to remove the threat of the enemy. And uh, now 73% of the older age groups say, say no, they stand with Israel. But, you know, there's a lot of false teaching going around in the younger, amongst the younger groups in the universities and stuff. And there's demonstrations, uh, pro-Hamas or pro-Gaza demonstrations. Uh, well, in London, four weeks ago, 300,000 people. One week ago, 100,000 people. And more than 80% of Americans say they support Israel over Hamas. But definitely there's a split when you get down to the younger aged, the college aged people. And uh, hey, it's, it's really rough, you know, and we're so frustrated just not being able to get these hostages. And we're heartbroken as, you know, we accidentally, the army accidentally killed three hostages. And then on top of that, more, we don't even get a chance to mourn that horrible, horrible thing when suddenly more, more soldiers are killed by Hamas, more and more, even from our unit, even from Yalom, and from other places. And uh, what, day 73, you know, will there be another hostage deal? Will, will there be a way to release them like we, some others are released through, through some deal? But Hamas says no more hostages will be released until the war ends, and that unless it gets its de its demands um, of and, the, and we get we have to release murderers with blood on their hands from the prisons and high profile militants who killed innocents. Um, the Mossad chief is going to still try to broker this. Uh, CIA chiefs, they're meeting in Qatar. They're going to Poland. They're having these talks. And U.S. Secretary of Defense Austin is arriving in Israel with the joint uh, chairman of the Joint Chiefs and meeting Netanyahu and Gallant. Possible outlines, which will be discussed, to make a hostage deal happen. And I, and I really hope we'll see the rest. I mean, they kidnapped, what, about 250 hostages? There's still a lot. There's still 130-some hostages. So when we're going forward, not just Yalom, all the troops of the IDF taking over the Khan Yunus city, the city hall, uh, the, the office of the Hamas brigade chief. And there's roads, and I want to tell you this, it's, it's you know roads that we drive on with our Hummer. And these very roads just the other day, my guys were on this road driving and someone had put under the ground, put a, a, um, a IED and as soon as they drove on it, it exploded, killing one of our Yalom guys. And it's the roads that I was on, the roads we were just on. And, uh, and you know, and you, you just say, wow, I'm alive. I'm still alive. Praise God. So we're taking some pretty, pretty deep losses that are really deep in our heart. And I say, we just got to look to the God of Israel. Don't say, am I good enough? Don't say, will I have the strength? Only through the God of Israel, we will have victory. And we will. And it's, it's his is the greatness of the power of the glory of his majesty, his splendor. Everything in heaven and on earth is his, right? His is the kingdom. And that, and this kingdom, you know, there's a, there's a capital of the kingdom of God. You ever think about that? It's not some la la land, not some white cloud. It's Jerusalem's the capital. Okay, and there's a kingdom. And if you look at, read in First Chronicles 29, verse 11, it talks about, in your hands are strength and power to exalt and give strength to all. So that's where his strength, the, our strength comes from. Now, our God, we give you thanks and we praise your glorious name. This is what Solomon, commander in chief, was saying back when he was back in the day. And so I just want to say, guys, I've been doing these videos. It's what, day 73. 
it's, you know, I want you to say, hey, how can I, each of us, how can I put my faith in the God of Israel? How can I uh, be part of the good winning over evil, the light winning over darkness, and the darkness is being defeated. They're surrendering, and it's, and we're moving forward in power. So thank you so much for standing with us. Thank you for all the help. God bless you. These soldiers are risking their life. They're doing such a good job. God bless you.